Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, so uh, we got this 2013 Dodge Charger. It's a 3.6 liter. Uh, it was involved in a collision. It's right here behind me. And we're doing a radiator. Yeah. So uh, I'm going to just walk you through the steps. So this is... Okay. So this is how I'm going to do it. All right. Because it was involved in a collision. So that's why we're replacing it. Um, so I like to take shortcuts. Now the bumper's already off because I got to replace the bumper. But let's say if I walk into this job and this car comes into my shop, I really don't want to take this bumper off if I don't have to. Now the only reason you're taking this bumper off, okay, I'm gonna show you it's because of these <clears throat> these four bolts here. This is the back of the radiator. This is your upper hose goes here, your lower hose goes over there. Uh, and this is where your fan, your fan assembly just drops into these clips. And then here's two bolts where your radiator fan on both sides. <clears throat> you got two bolts where eight millimeter bolts. That's where your fan goes onto, right? So all you got to do is take the fan off the front. Then you can take this out. But it's held in the back by four bolts. They're eight millimeters. One, two, three, and four. Those are going to your condenser. Now I'm gonna show you, this is why you take the bumper off, okay? So you take the front bumper off, right? <clears throat> then you got this little push tab right here. You can just pull it back. There it is right there, it's all rusted. That's one. Okay, the next one is up under here, right there. That's uh, this is your uh, receiver dryer right here. And there's your... <clears throat> There, and on this side, same thing on the bottom. There it is, right there. So, under this, under the air deflector, and then this air deflector has been busted right in the collision. And you can see it was all tore. I had to, you know, take these bolts out and just so I can get the fan out. Okay, there's your other bolt right there, right between those two lines. So, you got to come back right here and get it like this. All right, that's going to release your radiator from uh the condenser so you got to do that now up here you're gonna have to take off your uh eight you take off the shield up top you got an eight millimeter right there holding this in just pull it off i didn't even take off the electrical connector it's still in there i just lifted it up and then you know you got this tube right here going into your air box just pull that off see the air box needs to be replaced too you know it's all busted up when i got the car tow truck guy dropped it off at my shop it's like this, you know, all busted up. You see there, your fan, you see how it's all locked forward? That's because everything got pushed in. See the condenser's all bent. You know, he might need, they might need a new condenser. You see all this is tore up. Now to get this out, like I said, all you gotta, is electrical connector here, push on that button, boom, pull that back. Uh, now, before you take this out, you're going to probably need to do your upper radiator hose. So you just got a clamp here. It's right there. I just like to take it, bend it, push it back. Okay, you got an 8 millimeter here. Safely on the other side, you got an 8 millimeter right there. And then all you got to do is pull it up. Now, this right here, my space is kind of limited because, you know, everything's been pushed back. You know, this is the radiator support right here. I'm pulling on okay now I got to take those bolts out then I got low radiator hose right there that I need to disconnect to slide it off I'm gonna come in down here it's gonna be easy to get it right here on the, on the bottom now <clears throat> and that's it that's it so once I take off that bottom hose take out those four bolts on a condenser I'm gonna pull this radiator out and then I'm gonna slide it in connect it back to the condenser and then basically just put the uh, fan back and hook up my uh my bottom hose first then i'm gonna hook up put the fan in hook that up then i'm gonna do my top hose and then uh, basically you're done you know you're done after that all you gotta do is just fill it up cool it right here let it run bleed it out and you're done that's a very this is a very simple job very simple job but uh uh, this is a 3.6 liter too. So this is a Dodge Charger. Boom. With the 3.6 liter. 
but that's basically basically how you do the radiator real easy real easy job okay all right thanks for watching the video oh okay here's and this is what i there's another thing i want to mention okay look this is me like i said uh, me personally if it wasn't in, involved in a collision what i would do uh, i'm probably <laughs> that's what i would do man uh, you can pop you can get like a eight millimeter quarter inch drive through one of those holes uh or i man i'd probably just like push one of these back or drill a hole right here ain't nobody gonna see that or i'd come in through here within a swivel socket and an extension and i'd pull those eight millimeters out <clears throat> you know say or come up from the bottom and i drop the bottom i would drop that bottom little thing instead of taking off the whole if you're going to take off the bumper you got to take those seven millimeter bolts out the bottom of the bumper all you gotta do is just drop that drop it down here come up right here with a quarter inch uh swivel socket and take those eight millimeters out and you don't have to take off the bumper you know what i'm saying but that's that's just how i would do it you know what i'm saying you know you got to do on the top is take out these push pins on the top right and pull the front bumper forward just a little bit and you come in right here and take that out you know what i'm saying and over here you ain't even got you just coming through the side right here behind you know what I'm saying? Like that. So uh I believe you can do this without taking off the front bumper. I, I could I could do it without taking off the front bumper. Cause I got you know swivel sockets, extensions, wobble extensions and everything that will help me get to those socket, those bolts, you know what I'm saying, from a, a different array of directions. Uh so it's just gonna depends on what kind of tools you got also. Okay. But anyways, uh 2013. Dodge Charger, 3.6 liter radiator replacement. Thank you for watching the video. Peace. Uh, okay, my bad. I left out two bolts. You got two 10 millimeters. These are your radiator supports. See, this is busted over here, right? That was messed up in a collision. All right? But see, this one right here, you see how it, uh, it's like a U around the top of the radiator. So you can't get your radiator out unless you take out that radiator support. So you pull that out. Boom, and then you'll be able to slide the radiator forward and up and out. Okay? Uh, yeah, that's it. That's it. All right, thanks for watching the video. Peace. Okay, <clears throat> one more thing I noticed. Uh, you got a, on your pet cot, you release just uh, a valve. Now, I transferred, oh yeah, dude, you can squeeze this with your fingers, pull it off. But that'll help direct the flow of your coolant if you ever use this to release it. I never use these. I just take off the bottom hose and the top hose and it just comes out because I'm used to working in a shop where time is money and you're competing against maybe 10, 20, 30 other technicians in there. So you got to be fast. Otherwise, everyone else is going to get all the work and you're going to fucking starve. So I'm used to just taking shortcuts. Uh, another thing, you do have to take off these right here um, and transfer them, okay? Um, and that's it.